First this half hour, it's been a week since a horrific car crash in Naples killed a mom and injured two kids. Hello again, everybody. I'm Chris Safadi. And I'm Lois Tomey. Now seven days after the wreck, one child remains in a medically induced coma as a community comes together to pray for his recovery. Wheat News reporter Tiffany Rizzo joins us live from Naples. And any update on this child's condition? Lois, what we know right now is he suffered life-threatening injuries and has a long road to recovery, but his family says he's a fighter. Only one way to describe it, a tragedy. Collier County 911, what's the address of your emergency? Hi, at the intersection of Immokalee Road and Logan Boulevard. Hey, I just saw a truck T-bone a car going through the intersection. Truck ran a red light. And they're in the median of the road. It's like really bad. It looks like they just crushed that. Looks like it's probably going to need an ambulance. Those are the 911 calls that came in after Florida Highway Patrol says a semi truck ran a red light and hit the driver's side of an SUV last Wednesday, just before 9 a.m. The crash killed a mother and hospitalized her 12 year old son and his friend. They were on their way to school. My heart is broken and, and I'm thinking of the families that have been affected. And I drove by it that morning um, after it had happened. So it, it made me come to tears actually because I'm a mom, I have two small children, and it's very frustrating because I have personally witnessed so many red light runners and it just, it's frustrating because it's happening so much. And as a mom, it scares me to be on the roads with my kids. Renee Walsh says Immokalee Road is known to be dangerous, and she wants to see change. I think we need to have more monitoring at the red lights for vehicles, first and foremost, so that we can do something immediately to stop this from happening, whether police presence at the red lights, um, especially on Immokalee Road, to pull these people over, um, just to bring awareness. And the crash is still under investigation. FHP says the truck driver was charged with running the light with a mandatory court appearance. Reporting live in Collier County, Tiffany Rizzo, Link News.